let's learn the concept of t naught space of a topological space a topological space capital x is said to be a t naught space if for any two distinct points or any two distinct elements x and y belongs to capital x there exist an open set say capital g in capital x such that x belongs to g and y does not belongs to g or we can tell that x does not belongs to g y belongs to g that type of topological space is called as t not space we need to consider some two points x and y and x and y both are different points need to consider an open set g open set implies the element of tau right so open set g such that in that particular set though among those two points one should be there and other should not be there that is the definition of t not space so in a diagrammatical manner we can uh, uh, derive the definition as let's consider a topological space say capital x if we call this as some t not space for any two points x and y if you have one open set say g that open set should contain element x but y shouldn't belongs to this belong to this open set g otherwise we can tell that for a uh, the topological space x comma tau if we call this space as t not space if for any two distinct points x and y if you have an open set g containing y then x shouldn't belong to this open set g so that is the meaning of t not space so let's consider one example let capital x having two elements 0 and 1 let's derive a topology tau on capital x containing the elements x empty singleton set 0 and singleton set 1 i am considering then you can tell that tau is a topology on capital x since we have only two elements 0 and 1 those are the distinct elements right so those are the only two distinct points of capital x and there exist uh, we need to consider open set right there exist an open set i am considering g equal to say singleton set 0 which is one of the open set of tau in capital x such that 0 that 0 belongs to this open set but 1 does not belongs to this singleton set 0 that's why this x comma tau is a t not space in other way we can tell that suppose if g be an open set let's consider as g1 singleton set 1 then this 0 does not belongs to this singleton set 1 and 1 belongs to one belong to singleton set 1 so in the same way we can tell define t not space therefore x comma tau is a t not space another example 
the real space r comma u is also a t naught space let's prove this for this we need to consider two distinct points i am considering as x y let modulus of x minus y is equal to epsilon which is greater than 0 because here uh, this refers the distance between x and y is epsilon implies x and y both are the different points if it is same then x minus y will be equal to 0 right this shows that x and y are any two distinct points we need to consider one open set say g i am considering g as the interval x minus epsilon by 4 to x plus epsilon by 4 because as you know in the real space there will be intervals so uh, let's consider this as a real space 10 to minus infinity and um, this side tends to 10 to plus infinity here let us consider two points x and y uh, the distance between x and y is epsilon if you consider the open set g as x minus epsilon to x plus epsilon then this will be midpoint to this the length of x to epsilon by uh, this middle point will be epsilon by 2 because this is a middle point and this distance between x and y is epsilon. If you consider the distance as epsilon by 4, then this will be the distance. Right. So, at that time, you will not uh, having the common point to x and y. So, epsilon by 4 x minus epsilon by 4 will be the interval between these two that is this distance so by this we can conclude that this uh, open interval will be an open set in capital R and x this x belongs to epsilon by uh, belongs to the set capital G and Y will not belongs to belong to G because here uh, at the distance epsilon by 4 this Y will not come inside to this range or this interval that's why we are considering epsilon by 4 if it is epsilon by 2 then the range will be like this then there is a possibility at the point uh, we don't know what the point but at the distance epsilon by 2 there may be a possibility of having a point common that's why we are considering the distance epsilon by 4 thus we can conclude that for any two points two distinct points x and y belongs to capital R there exist an open set say capital G x minus epsilon by 4 to x plus epsilon by 4 such that x belongs to G y does not belongs to G therefore the space R comma U is a T naught space. This is the very good example for T naught space.